Bros out here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out here. I'm networking. The rest of the crew, I don't know where they at, but I'm out here. I know Danny Ab's busy. She can't be here, so I'm here representing for the 313 Live. So this is what we do, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, people. But today, today, we come out here to stand in solidarity and support of our three, our three beloved African American sisters who was uh, discriminated against and uh, racism was uh, done against them. So we're out here to send awareness want? to the community, to the patrons, want? to Gross Point, Detroit, all over. Let them know that New Finn what is a racist want? place. They're not only what serving want? raw fish and raw food what and raw want? sushi, justice. they're serving what raw racism want? and raw discrimination. What do we want? Justice. And justice. we're not going to talk about it. Happens in, in silence. And so then you have to raise your voice and say, I was mistreated and it was not right. I brought it up to the perpetrator and I'm telling all of my friends, stand with me, just say it's, it's not right. And you bring it up to the appropriate party. The second thing that we want you to do is to never frequent establishments. Not a daycare center, not a shoe shine person, don't get your car washed, don't eat at restaurants, don't go anywhere where racism is the culture. We are not talking about one isolated incident where the employee may feel differently than ownership. Then if that's the case, he or she should do it. But if it is the culture of an establishment to perpetuate and, and, and let racism thrive, you can't frequently. It. it is no longer difficult to say that I like your post on Facebook. You have to say I'm not putting my money here. And I'm going to raise my voice and I'm going to bring attention to people. Why? What do you want out of this? I want to really be able to eat sushi and drink. But that's what we came here tonight. We didn't really come to, to do all this. Their response led to this. Their response demanded this. And so we're asking you, the challenge to you is that you cannot, and tell your friends and your networks not to frequent places, and when you see this happening, it didn't happen to you, but we need, we challenge you, all of our brothers and sisters, to say, I will not go to places where this is the case. I don't want you to jump in and get arrested too. I don't want it to happen. But I want you to stand up to the person and say, I heard that it's changed with your general manager. And it looks like you asked her to leave for no good reason. I'm never going to come back here. And so now you know the reason why. So that's my challenge to you all. The last thing that you need to do is to connect with organizations, wonderful organizations for whom this is their lifeblood. They do this all the time. We have people who have found us and have said, this is what we do. We want to join with you. We don't want to take over. We're going to stand by your side. And we need you to connect to those kind of organizations. And finally, you've got to know that there's another player in this. It's the Rose Point Farms Police. That's right. Yeah. We're going to ask questions. That's how you said about anything in Rizal. You ask questions. And so we're going to be meeting with them to ask, what, what is the protocol when someone calls and says someone is irate? You know, do you take their word for it? You know, what can I expect? How should I carry myself so I won't get the police called on me? Can I call the police on them? We need to ask questions so that we and our children know how to carry ourselves. But you must know that when we're asking you and challenging you to do things, that we have our homework as well. We, we thank you so much for coming out, especially those who brought their, 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 their children. Uh, it, it's important that you watch this on the news and those who didn't bring their kids, watch it on the news tonight. And they're, they're not going to know what's going on, but you take the time in, in an age-appropriate way to say, this is what happened. This is the world that I envision for you, that you never have to endure this. But it will only happen when you take the time to say, I won't tolerate you talking mad about her. That slur, that's a slur. What's a slur, Mom? What you call her? Don't do it. And when we make it uncomfortable in the family, then that 23-year-old general manager would never do that. But some, no one stopped her at day one, day seven, day 12. That's how it happens. Am, am I right about it? Yeah. Can I get a man or clap or do yeah. what, 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 what are you talking? But, but, but that's where it starts. And so I, I applaud those who bring their children and those you know kids are out here. Please do talk about this and talk about it in your circles. So we thank you for coming out tonight. We're going to stay to seven because we said we were going to stay to seven for those who are en route, uh, and just because we have to do that. So we're going to keep on going. I need my my my, my microphone ladies to come on and, and keep us going until seven o'clock. All right. All right. No justice, no peace. 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 No justice! No peace! 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 No justice!
friends was here at this restaurant mm -hmm. over the weekend, and she was here with two other ladies. Mm -hmm. They were having sushi mm -hmm. and enjoying each other's company. They were the only African Americans inside the establishment, and the manager came and asked them to leave the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Now there were tables available, but the reason that she asked was because she said that she needed space for other customers to come in and dine. So from as far as I can tell, they have a policy based on tables available that you have to, if they ask, I guess you get up in an hour and 45 minutes due to limited space inside of the restaurant. But the employees have reported that there's no time limit at the bar. And there was space at the bar and there were tables available so they couldn't understand why they were being asked to speed their meal up. So then they, they cash out. Mm -hmm. And then they leave, and um, Tanisha starts making a face live, Facebook Live video mm -hmm. and saying that they had been, you know, discriminated against. Mm -hmm. And the manager, the same lady who asked them to move, followed her out, and she was saying, um, you know, she wouldn't give them the owner's name, and she wanted, she was going to call the police. And then she lied to the police and said that they were drunk, and they were not. And they weren't, you know, being disrespectful or distasteful or anything. And it was, I was just shocked and appalled. So basically, that's why we're all here. Because if you, to know the young lady is to know that she's, she's upstanding. She's a mother of three. She's a business owner. She's not ignorant or disruptive at all. So I just couldn't believe that this happened in 2017. So that's why I'm here this evening.